For season two, we wanted to go bigger. Better sets, better costumes, better graphics, better everything. パパテラ、キャリアカッコ、トロンカモ。ケージディンデソチンビシラ。ヤチンドボロンティム、カッポロチシア、トロイシーズン。ナディエムシアバントシエパニュラブシア。So yeah, like they said, good stuff to come in season two. I gotta say though, every day I come into work, it feels like I'm coming to the Tower of Babel. How's it going everyone? Papa Dop here. Have you ever been the kind of person that stacks no paper and gets no bitches? Couldn't be me. But this week's manga of the week is about just such a guy. Aijo Rintaro has gone his whole life with absolutely no game. Not for lack of trying though. By the time he reaches high school, he has been rejected over 100 times by girls. Despite their rejection, he still manages to have a heart full of love to give, and so he ends up at a shrine to the love god to pray for alpha male energy in high school. To his surprise, the love god himself appears to offer an explanation. He was really busy watching TV when Rintaro was born, and messed up some numbers. After suffering through 100 rejections, Rintaro is destined instead to find 100 soulmates. The Instant Rintaro walks into his school, he starts bagging the baddest broads from bashful to brainy. This manga truly is the harem romance with no losing heroines. This is the mad genius of the 100 girlfriends that really, 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 really love you. When I thought about how I was going to start off the second season of Manga of the Week, I really struggled on what manga I was going to recommend to be the first one. It's the Big first episode, it has to be good. It's gotta be some sharp manga with good action, gripping imagery, thrilling intrigue, and then I remembered this manga and just kinda threw all that out the window. 100GF, as I will now refer to it, is a brilliant manga. It kinda combines the harem heroine personality tropes that everybody who has ever read any sort of romance manga knows, and somehow manages to blend all of them together with a completely fresh lens. The premise of the manga is utterly ludicrous and it leans into that so wholeheartedly that you can't really help but get engrossed in it. Dialogue between characters is quick, witty, fourth wall breaking, and surprisingly logical at times for how insane the entire premise of this manga is. This mixture of genuine heartfelt emotion, dead set in their way tropes, dry wit, and visual humor combined to make this manga a gut-busting success. So let's bust out the scale. The story I'm giving a 9 out of 10. This manga, as I've said many times, really leans into its ridiculous premise. It never shies away, it never backs down, and as even more girlfriends are added to the story, it just gets more ridiculous. However, this sounds like a recipe for disaster, right? How can you have this many characters and still have something meaningful? How can you have such a zany premise and it not get old? And I'm gonna be honest here, I don't really know how the author quite does it. There's an attention to detail with the characters in this manga that I find is 
very rare, whether it's manga, comics, actual books, sometimes even TV shows. I'm thinking of like Game of Thrones. Sometimes, sometimes the characters just didn't matter to me. Each character not only gets a fairly even amount of face time, but they're present enough during the story, even if it's not focused on them, that you can still see their characters grow. And you get to see them grow and it still be something meaningful despite the overall humorous tone of the manga. That's quite a feat. I think and for that and also for the sheer amount of words that this guy manages to write every chapter I give it a 9 out of 10 characters I'm giving a nine and a half out of ten I don't really even know where to start with them they're they're all some sort of trope now we're at like 21 out of a hundred girlfriends there's so many more to go but the manga hasn't even gotten to that point yet to lay out a few we have sundere text to speech i want to be a cowgirl baby token maid horny hornier heidi masochist bard gal jailbait but not jailbait but not shy princess naturally emotionless old man and more each character has a unique design and place within the group that shifts very dynamically with each heroine that has been added. Smaller groups within the main group kind of ebb and flow, and both together and individually, each one of the heroines manages to shine. I really don't know how the artist and the author manage to keep everything straight, and every character straight. I don't understand. Art, I'm giving a 10 out of 10. I don't give out that score lightly. 10 out of 10. It's a very heavy score, but again, this manga and its absolutely ludicrous amount of panels, characters, backgrounds, facial expressions, visual gags, maintained gags would just kill a normal artist. I don't even know if the artist eats, sleeps, breathes, or is even human to churn out like 20 to 35 pages of this stuff every month without fail and color pages and inserts and whatever else that they have to do. And they've maintained the quality of the drawings without fail and have in fact improved over the course of the hundred and some odd chapters that are out. That is that is an incredible dedication to their craft. That in and of itself deserves a 10 out of 10, just the dedication that they show. They fulfill the writer's every whim and do so with what seems to be great joy. Not only that, but to me what's fun is the girls are all designed very well, very cute, but it seems like the artist actually has the most fun drawing Rintoro himself, and that's pretty fun considering he is the protagonist, and him getting to have so much love shown towards his design and his facial expressions and the way that he reacts to all of his cute girlfriends and all of that is really, really fun to, for me to see. Location, I'm giving a 7 out of 10. Location and setting, whatever you want to call it, always has the least impact on my decisions about these manga. However, I'm giving this one such a high score despite it being a slice of life at a high school because, again, with the amount of characters that there are, there has been so many unique backgrounds that this guy has had to draw that it feels like it doesn't just take place at a high school or whatever. They've gone so many different places with it. So because of the breadth of locations, I give this one on a higher score than normal and they're well drawn again uh, art 10 out of 10 emotional impact i'm also giving a 7 out of 10. this manga really isn't emotional until it is and that's a really cop-out way of saying it but each girl thus far has had this little mini arc that introduces them and usually at the end of it there's a big confession scene and that's usually really heartfelt has something to do with their backstory and the girls backstories have ranged from humorous to heart-wrenching and so of course there's been some emotional impact there but sometimes there are these random bouts of character interaction that happen in the midst of something else going on even between background characters who aren't even the main focus of the chapter that almost strike home more than any of those confession scenes or background story fulfillments none of these the emotional appeals in this manga are probably going to bring you to tears. What's liable to bring you most to tears in this manga is just the humor, and I have absolutely cried laughing to this manga 
several times. Now we come to the Ludo meter. So with 100 girlfriends still to be had, and 21 currently, I believe is the number we're at, there's bound to be some lewd stuff in this manga. And because of some of the characters, some of their dispositions, some of their designs, and stuff like that, um, I'm gonna put this on like a scale of six and a half to seven and a half. And the reason why I give it a scale instead of just a solid number is sometimes, sometimes the lewd stuff isn't for the sake of being lewd, it's more for the humor of it. So depending on how you feel about that personally, it kind of puts it on that range. Except for the girl whose entire personality is groping and the extremely horny mother-daughter combo who constantly... Yeah, this might be an eight and a half, but I'm gonna move on. Um, yeah. Overall, I give this manga a whopping nine out of ten i don't know if that's the highest i've rated a manga thus far i don't think it is i think i've rated some other ones that high but i would normally skew this one down to like an eight and a half because of the math that goes into my little rating scale but this manga is so freaking good that i don't want to do it that disservice or make y'all want to read it less by giving it an eight and a half instead of a nine i don't know why but that's some like psychoanalyst thing every panel is just filled with attention to detail running gags heartfelt confessions, the MC's unfathomable devotion. I really just can't give the manga enough compliments. And again, I sound like a broken record whenever I do these because if it's manga of the week, I'm choosing a manga that I enjoy. So I'm gonna gush about it a little bit and it deserves it. This manga is really genuinely funny and it does something that most harem romances can't do in that with this ridiculous premise it has where there are no losing heroines, it's not a harem romance comedy thing for the sake of drama. It's a harem romance comedy for the sake of comedy, which to me works a lot better because my heart isn't being tugged a thousand different directions trying to go, oh, well, I really like this girl more than any of the other ones. And the author keeps pushing and pulling me to if she's going to win or not. I don't have to worry about that here. So I can get attached to all of these characters and all of their things, whether I like the trope usually or not, and just enjoy the ride. That is something really unique that I really enjoy about this manga in particular. And yes, it's lewd. There's fan service. There is a lot of gags to do with physicality and stuff you're going to get that with a dude that is going to end up being with a hundred people it's just the nature of the thing but if that is a turn off to you don't read it but you should because it's ridiculously funny and ridiculously well written strap in don't take it too seriously and enjoy the ride i'm papaladopolis thank you all for coming <laughs> To season two of manga of the week I'm really excited for the stuff I have to come uh, I haven't filmed any of it yet despite what I made it look like but I'll see y'all next week <laughs>